Welcome to this 24-7 security tutorial for DVR Viewer Pro 2. DVP2 has two fantastic new features, live GPS tracking and live real-time video access. Before we get to those tutorials, you must download, install and configure DVP2 to connect to your organization's touchdown server. To download, go to the link sent to you by us. To download the installer, click the download button here. You may see this message that Google can't scan the file for viruses. Click download anyway. You may be asked where you want to save the file or it will simply start downloading. Once it is finished, click on this button lower left and the zip file will open. Double click the installer. You will be asked to enter the password we sent you. Most versions of Windows will warn you with this message. Click More Info and then Run Anyway. You may get another warning like this one. Click Yes. Click Next, 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 Install, and you're done. So we're going to open DVP2 for the first time, but before we do, I'm going to create a shortcut button on my taskbar, which I highly recommend. Click your start button, start typing DVR Viewer Pro 2, and right click on DVR Viewer Pro 2. Select Pin to Taskbar, and now a tile will appear on your taskbar. Click the DVP button on the taskbar, log in with the admin and password we provided, and you're ready to use DVP 2. DVP2 has all the capabilities of DVR Viewer Pro, like opening videos, creating clips and event reports, etc. Please check out the DVP tutorial videos at pro.247securityinc.com for access to those videos. DVP2, of course, also lets you access real-time feeds from your buses. To do that, we need to log into the TDC server. Click the Settings menu top right, TDC Setup and select My TDC Account. Enter the client ID, username and password that you were provided. Click OK and you should see Login Success. That's it, you have installed DVP2 and set up access to the TDC server. Check out the next videos, how to access live GPS and real-time video streams. As I mentioned, other video tutorials are available on how to work with video clips, etc. Please check out those videos as well. See you next time.